During this screencast, we will create our first simple widget-based application with Qt 460. Let's have a list which the user can fill with text items. The user enters a text into a line edit and presses an Add button to add that text to the list. There is also a Clear button which removes all the text from the list. In Carbide C++ we create a new project and select the Qt project wizard. The project type is Qt GUI main window. We give our project a name and finish the wizard. The result is a couple of files. We start by editing the user interface. From the Qt widget box we drag and drop a list widget, a line edit and two buttons on the form. We position everything roughly and tell the form to lay the widgets out in a grid. The text of the buttons, as well as their object name, can be edited with a right click. Our list clear functionality can be implemented without writing code. We change to the signal slot editor and connect the clear button with the list. The clicked signal of the button gets connected to the clear slot of the list. The first feature is done. In order to implement the feature that adds text to the list, we write some code. Let's open the header file of our window class and add a new slot with a name that follows a special naming scheme. This slot gets automatically connected to the clicked signal, which our add button emits when it gets clicked on. Our implementation of the slot is fairly simple. It adds the line edits text to the list. Finally, in the main function we ensure that our window is shown maximized. Let's see how our application looks and feels in the emulator. Looks great! Just as expected. It is time to build our application for the device. In order to do that we launch the Qt 460 command prompt in the start menu. We change to the folder where we created the project. QMake generates the project files for the Symbian toolchain. Make debug GCCE cross-compiles our application for the phone. Finally, let's run a script that creates a signed sys package. Dash i stands for install right away. And apparently it does what it is supposed to do. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your applications with Qt 460.